Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So good to hang out with you again today. So today's my first official video back since I got married. I took a little time off and got married. And let me tell you guys, it was the best day ever. It was the most magical, most beautiful day. Everything came out so perfect. And honestly, it was just such a, just, just a day I will never forget. It was my kids walking me down the aisle. They were next to me during the ceremony. And then the rest of the day, we just hung out with friends, family at the reception. And it was just just perfection. I wish you could have all been there. If you were following me on Instagram, you saw a lot of behind the scenes on that day. But oh, it was so amazing. So it is good to be back with you guys, though. Good to be back talking some beauty products, skincare, all of that fun stuff that we are all here for. Um, and today I figured we'll just kind of hang out and chit chat. And I'm going to share with you some recent current favorites of mine. And I have a lot sitting here in front of me today, but I have not done a favorites video in a while. And I have a lot of new releases, new products that I've been using. And just, of course, I want to share them with you. When I get excited about a product and it's really good, then you know I'm going to come on here and share it with you guys. So that's what we're going to do today, hang out and talk some favorites. So before I jump into it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join my YouTube family here. We're just all just a big skincare, beauty loving family here. So join my channel, hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a video, which is now actually Tuesdays and Fridays. That is going to be my new upload uh, YouTube days, Tuesdays, Fridays. So make sure you join me on those days. And then also head on over to my Instagram, Join me on Instagram for more behind the scenes, skincare tips, um, skincare routines, daily skincare beauty life over on my Instagram. All right, guys, like I said, I have a lot to cover today. Let's jump in. We're going to start out with this bad boy right here. This is the new Symbiotica plant protein. This is a protein powder and I am so obsessed with this. This is unlike any other protein powder that you've ever used, that you've ever seen. Number one, it's actually really good tasting. I've tried a lot of protein powders and they're just not that good. They're like chalky and they're just like blah. This is the best tasting protein powder ever. But the thing that makes us so amazing, it's Symbiotica. So you know the quality is like top of the top. There is no fillers in this. There is nothing, nothing bad in this, nothing artificial, nothing in this other than the best ingredients. So it has obviously a lot of protein. Where is the amount of protein? 20 grams of protein in a scoop. Um, but then everything else, it has the best vitamins, the best minerals. It has an alkaline protein complex. It has a mushroom complex because there's so many good things about mushrooms and their nutrients, and Symbiotica does a lot with mushrooms. There's also, um, he puts in a lot of alkaline raw greens. So there's alfalfa, there's barley, organic kale, organic spirulina, wheatgrass, oak grass, like the best chlorella, such, such amazing, you know, greens, raw greens. So that's amazing. But then he also puts in prebiotics and probiotics and fiber. And there's literally nothing in this that your body can't use. You will feel energized and you will feel full after you use this. So I've been using this like in a smoothie, either for breakfast or for lunch. I'll throw this in with like almond milk and I'll even put like a little bit of uh, fruit in there. And it is so good, you guys. And I'm telling you, you will stay full and you just have like this like increase of energy and you can just feel all of that goodness and that nutrients. It just gives you life. So I have been obsessed. Honestly, there is nothing, no protein powder on the market that is better than this. When Symbiotica told me they were releasing this, I was like, oh my gosh, I could not wait. Could not wait for this. I've been using protein powders and smoothies for a while and nothing beats this one. So I'm super excited to share this with you guys. Um, this is now on Skin Truth, of course, as well. And I am loving that. All right, then we're going to talk about continuing on the little Symbiotica here. These two right here. These are his two new launches. And we're going to talk about this one first because I, again, when I heard they were launching this, I was like so excited. This is the Symbiotica Super Greens with chlorophyll. Now, if you watch some of my previous supplement videos, you have seen for a long time that I have been taking chlorophyll. Like I've been taking chlorophyll for years, pretty much since Ben Fuchs told me about the benefits of chlorophyll probably a couple years ago. So I've been on the chlorophyll train for a long time. Symbiotica just recently came out with this. It's super greens with chlorophyll. So there is, again, everything in here 
that your body needs in terms of like getting your nutrients from vegetables, greens that we don't eat enough. I think uh, Shervin, if you just watched my Symbiotica video, my second interview with Shervin, he's the founder and formulates all of the Symbiotica supplements. If you just watched that uh, interview two of mine, he talks all about this and just like, you need to watch that video. He is the most amazing, just like wealth of knowledge in terms of health, in terms of supplements and what your body needs. You have to watch that video. I will link that interview with him down below. But this has, I think he said in it, like a pound of, a, a pound of broccoli, like you, or maybe even more like three pounds of broccoli, something like that. But you can't eat all of that, you know, in terms of nutrients, but the nutrients are in here. So it has your chlorophyll, which you need. It's so amazing for your skin, you guys. Chlorophyll is going to detox your body and it's going to give your skin a glow. It's fighting free radicals, it's an antioxidant. It is such a must for your skin. So it has the chlorophyll, but then it also has a organic alfalfa, organic grass, organic spinach powder, again, organic spirulina, organic kale, and then the broccoli seed powder. Um, so it has all that stuff. Again, no fillers. It's all organic. This is truly like just drinking your greens and getting that chlorophyll. It tastes good. And honestly, this is one of my favorite supplements now that I take. It is just such a must. Like chlorophyll is that much of a must. And then Symbiotica coming out with the chlorophyll, like a game changer. And then he also just came out with this one. It's the liposomal glutathione. Glutathione is so funny because I've been talking about that in some previous videos. If you watch my video talking about the osmosis replenish, that has a glutathione in it for topical use. Glutathione is an amazing antioxidant that's more powerful than vitamin C. And this, he adds the glutathione, he adds PQQ, which is like another amazing ingredient, which again, you have to watch that video of his. He goes into all of that detail. Um, and then CoQ10, just two more really powerful antioxidants. Again, in a liposomal delivery system, liposomal delivery system, just like skincare that you put on topically, it is the best for getting those ingredients, getting those nutrients into your body so your body can actually absorb and use them. I can't even tell you how many supplement companies, um, you know, Sherevine has shared with me that, you know, you think that they're good brands, but they don't have the delivery system and your body, you can take all the supplements you want, but your body's not absorbing anything. So it's just such a waste. So Symbiotica, has, you know, and utilizes a liposomal delivery system. So when you are taking his supplements, your body is absorbing everything, all the nutrients, everything that it's made to do. That's why you feel and see such changes in your body, in your skin, when you're using Symbiotica. So this glutathione is amazing. Again, an amazing, amazing uh, ingredient for brain health, you know, health in general, but it's such a powerful antioxidant too, that not only do I use it topically, but taking it internally is so good. So these, actually all three of these are new releases by Symbiotica and they are all in my routine now. I am obsessed with all of them and you guys will be too. All right, let's talk a little skincare because I am still in love with this. This is the Photozyme MD, the DNA Youth Recovery. And now I use all the Photozyme products, but this one is my second bottle now. And I'm almost like I'm over halfway done with my second one. I've been using this every single day. And the reason that DNA repair is so important is because your DNA, your cells DNA are being damaged every day. No matter if you use SPF or not, your SPF can only protect your skin so much. You are constantly getting DNA damage every single day. And as we get older, your body cannot repair all that DNA damage. So when you're younger, your body can repair itself so much quicker. And that's why your skin stays hydrated and plump and no lines and wrinkles. Um, but then as you get older, you just slow down on that process and your body, your skin cannot repair itself as quickly. And that's where, you know, you get the fine lines and wrinkles. You actually get sun damage coming to the surface. That is all due to damage within your skin. So, this is a must. Photozyme utilizes the newest, the next level technology in terms of DNA repair. There's three DNA repair enzymes in this. And again, they're just like top notch technology, top notch science behind this. So you will see a difference when you use this. This is just the lightest, you know, hydrating serum 
with those DNA repairing enzymes and you will notice lines and wrinkles fade away. I can't even tell you how many people have come to me and said that their sun damage is fading away since using this as well because this is truly repairing all of that damage from below the skin surface, but then you're gonna notice how like rejuvenated your skin becomes. So I am obsessed with this. I love all the Photozyme products, but this one I am on my second bottle because I don't rotate it. It's in my routine, you know, either day or night, sometimes twice a day, and I love it. All right, this is a new product, and this is a new brand to Skin Truth. We are now carrying all the Elastin skincare products, which I am super excited about. Elastin has great skincare. You probably have heard of them, some of you probably have used them already, but this is a brand new Elastin product. It's their HA Immerse Serum. It's their new Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and I am obsessed. I am loving it. It is so just very hydrating, but like soft and like very light on the skin, but it instantly plumps your skin and it just feels so good. And it comes out in this like really nice lightweight serum that just melts right into your skin and just, oh God, it leaves your skin just instantly hydrated and plump. But then it also obviously has long-term benefits, you know, hydrating benefits as well. So what I've been doing is I've actually been taking a pump of this and then I mix it in with my Growth Factor Serum. So right now I'm using the Osmosis Stem Factor Growth Factor, and I will take a pump of the Stem Factor, and then I'll take a pump of this, mix it together, and apply it first directly on my skin. And then I go on to the rest of my routine. But you guys will be in love with this too. I mean, honestly, it's just, I wanna bathe in it. It feels so good. Okay, now this is a product that I've honestly done multiple videos on here on YouTube. I've talked about it nonstop on my Instagram because it is truly a game changer. I've been using this for months now, and and I still am just like in awe of it. Like I love it and I cannot believe I didn't start using this years ago. It's the Osmosis Replenish. So this is the Osmosis Antioxidant Serum. And when you think antioxidant, you think vitamin C, but there's actually no vitamin C in this. And what this does have though, is it has astaxanthin and it has your glutathione. So just like I was taking the glutathione internally, this has glutathione in it for topical use. Astaxanthin and glutathione, like I said in many videos, but they are both th like the most powerful antioxidants. They're 650 times more powerful, more potent than your vitamin C um, in terms of fighting free radicals, in terms of repairing your skin, and in terms of skin rejuvenation. They are that powerful. So what I do is not only take them internally as well, I take the Symbiotica um, Omega because that has astaxanthin in it and then this is the glutathione. So not only do I take them internally to get the benefits of them internally, they fight the free radicals and repair your skin from the inside out when you take them internally. But then when you use them topically, you are again providing the best protection to your skin. You are fighting that much more free radicals. Astaxanthin and glutathione have been proven, clinically proven, to really, really help fade lines and wrinkles and to give your skin that rejuvenation, that glow. And again, it just is so, they're so powerful. So what I do is I actually use this replenish in conjunction with my vitamin C because again this does not have vitamin C in it and vitamin C you need especially L-ascorbic acid you need that for the best in anti-aging in terms of stimulating that collagen so I always use my vitamin C serum but I also use this right next to it so I will layer these two together vitamin C osmosis replenish then you're getting the best of everything, like the most powerhouse duo. You're getting your vitamin C for stimulating that collagen. And again, vitamin C is gonna brighten your skin, all of that, but so does this. Um, it's also, you know, vitamin C is going to help, you know, fight the free radicals too, but not to the extent that this does. The repairing aspect of this, the protecting aspect of this, of fighting the free radicals is just so far beyond any vitamin C. So. That is why I combine and use them both. I layer them together and you will see such a difference to your skin when you add this in. All right, we are gonna talk about this little guy next because this is another product that just was launched. That is like making waves because it is so insanely good. It's the Oxygenetics, their new concealer. You guys, this is the only concealer you will ever need for the rest of your life. If you have more mature skin, you are gonna be obsessed. Even if you're 20 years old, you will be obsessed because it makes your under eyes look flawless, but it doesn't look like concealer. It doesn't look like you have makeup on. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't show in little lines. It doesn't dry out the under eyes. 
you can put it on at 6 a.m. and go to bed at midnight and it still looks insanely flawless without one little crease. It is so freaking good. It comes out in a little pump like this and just a little bit goes a long way. It's very concentrated. I did a demo on it. You, It's best to use your finger to apply it or like a brush. You're gonna get the most coverage if you use that, like your finger or brush. If you want to use a sponge, you can, but you won't get as much coverage. Um, but it's the best, best concealer of all time. Like I said, honestly, I made my makeup artist use this on my wedding day because it is waterproof and sweat proof for like 50 minutes. So I was like, you're using this because not only it's like the best concealer ever, I'm like, if I cry, whatever happens, if I fall into the marina, <laughs> just kidding, I did not do that. Um, but I was right by the water, but I was just joking and saying that no matter what happens, like this sucker is gonna stay on. So yeah, I use this on my wedding day. You guys will be obsessed. I have actually gotten so many comments from you guys already who saw my video and demo on this. And now you are like, oh my gosh, Brie, this is the best concealer. I'm never gonna use anything else. I knew you were gonna thank me on this one. So definitely check that out if you need a new concealer. And then Color Science came out with some new products that I am of course loving because Color Science is one of my favorite brands. They came out with their new color balms and they come in a little trio and I'm loving the colors. They have Violet Haze, Golden Hour, and Pink Sky and I will swatch them for you. Actually, I already did swatch them on my Instagram. I'll put a little picture up here, which is easier. Um, but I actually have on the uh, Golden Hour today, which is just like a really pretty kind of like goldish peach color just looks really pretty with like a with your bronzer and all I do is kind of just swipe them on and then I take a flat kabuki brush and I blend it in and it is beautiful like so beautiful the thing that's great about them is they have an SPF just like everything with color science it's a uh, broad spectrum mineral SPF of 50 there's nothing bad in this it's all good for your skin you're just giving your skin that extra SPF and protection um, but then you're getting amazing color too and this color looks really good blended on your eyes and then you can also use any of these colors on your lips too so they make just like a quick easy little SPF like lip balm or something so I love them they are amazing and I've been wearing them non-stop all right so keeping with color science they also came out with two new brush on SPFs they came out with the bronze brush on SPF and they came out with a glow brush on SPF so both of these are a mineral SPF of 50 and I always keep one of these in my bag. I touch up with these every single day. When I am out and about, I just pop this little guy open, I give it a good little shake to get it started, and then I take it and just dust it all over. So you're reapplying your SPF throughout the day, but it never looks cakey or powdery, but you are helping to keep your skin protected. They do come in different shades. I really love the matte one too, especially for me, I have more oily skin in the summer. So I do carry the matte one along. It's like the perfect touch up for me because it just takes away shine, but then also gives me that SPF protection. But the bronze is actually what I have on right now. I did use some of the bronzer on today and I was playing with that and I was um, doing a reel on my Instagram with these today. And then the glow is just a very, very subtle glow. It's not like chalky, shimmery, glittery. It's just a very light glow. But I did this and I kind of, went over like my cheekbones and stuff too. This is just gonna be a great one if you have more dry skin and you just wanna get that like hint of luminosity. I just love that they came out with more of these because these are like my favorite, uh, favorite brush on SPF. Like they're amazing. All right, so let's talk some makeup because I wanna share with you guys some favorites of what the makeup artist did on my wedding day. So this is the funniest story. So I ended up getting a, a makeup artist for my wedding and she was absolutely amazing. But it took me a little bit to find her. So what I did was I actually found somebody she came over for a trial at my house and I did not like the makeup at all. It was so heavy and so much makeup, which is exactly what I was afraid of because that's why I wanted to do my own in the first place. So she did my makeup, like literally exactly what I was afraid of. It was like baking and caking and just, you know, all these layers. And I was just like, oh God, no. Like my kids were like, mom, that doesn't even look like you. Like it was just no. So I was like, really like, I was like, okay, that's exactly what I didn't want. Not gonna happen. And then I was talking to one of my friends, Monica, who some of you guys probably know. She actually had a makeup artist that was coming to her for that morning before the wedding. She's like, oh my gosh, she's really good. Let me see if she can fit you guys in. Cause I mean, I needed someone for me. I needed someone for Steph, my mom, Brandon's mom. We all were like getting ready together. So 
Long story short, I didn't have time for a trial with her, but she did come on my wedding day and she did my mom's makeup so beautifully. Oh my gosh, like it was amazing. She did Steph's makeup, so beautiful. She did my makeup and I was like floored. She was so good. I wanna use her again. I was like, I wanna use you every day. Like she just kept everything natural, uh, but played up my eyes more. And it was beautiful. I felt like me. I didn't feel like I had a lot of, you know, makeup on at all. And she was like amazing. So I just loved my makeup that day so much. So I'll share with you guys exactly what well, kind of what she did on some of some of the products. I don't know what she used directly on my eyes, but I do know some of the stuff she used. What she did was she mixed the NARS light reflecting foundation with the MAC face and body foundation. Cause I told her, I was like, I don't like a lot of foundation. She was joking. She had, you know, me and Steph in the, in the chair and she was like, okay, neither of you guys, I see why you don't wear a foundation. You don't want to cover up your skin. You don't need to. So we both actually, Steph and I used the same foundation. She mixed the same foundation for both of us. Cause it was very light, but just made us glow and just looked really, really natural and pretty. So this was the combination that she used. And it was funny because she was going to add in the MAC um, strobe cream to give it a little bit of extra glow. But the funny thing is I had the Glow Biotics with me and the Glow Biotics I showed her, I was like, oh, try the Glow Biotics because it's actually, you know, obviously better for your skin than the MAC strobe cream. I was like, try this. And we dabbed a little of the MAC on the back of my hand and then the makeup artist tried this right next to it. And this looked very, very similar. So she was like, ooh, she was like really impressed by this. So she took the Glow Biotics, the Hydra Glow Cream Oil, which I've shared with you guys. I love this. I mix this in with things, foundations, SPFs all the time. So she mixed a little of this in with this to again, just kind of share it out, but give that glow. And this combination was insane. I loved it. It was like I said, very light, just very light luminous look to it. And I loved it. So that was the little foundation combination she did. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what she did on my eyes cause she did a couple different, you know, colors and stuff, but it was so gorgeous. Then for highlights, she used this, and this is such an oldie but I rebought it after she used it on me because I was like, oh my God, I forgot about this. I had this like years ago. It's the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. Do we all remember this? Like I think I had this like years and years ago. So like I said, I rebought it and I actually bought the brush she used too. And it's a MAC, the 140S. It's like a big kind of like fluffy fan brush. She used a brush like this for my blush but then also for highlight too, she just took a little bit and just kind of like went over the area and it just like is the best brush and I love it. So I bought it after I saw her use it. And like I said, I've been using it for like blush and stuff too. And it's just like really pretty, but like, look at that highlight. So pretty. Oh my gosh. It's just so funny when she pulled out, I was like, Oh, what is that highlight you're using? And she's like, Oh, it's Mac soft and gentle. I was like, Oh my gosh, that's like, it was like a staple of mine probably like 10 years ago. Um, so I did rebuy that because I am now in love with that. Um, and then I rebought the lip liner she used too, which is MAC Whirl. Again, do we all remember MAC Whirl? It's like the perfect, just kind of like a little bit darker pinky nude. That's what I have on my lip liner today. So the lip combination that I have on right now was the wedding combination that she did on me. She did like a really pretty like pinky nude on me, which is perfect. Um, but she did use the Mac Whirl lip liner. So I went out and bought that <laughs> again. And then she also used the Mac cream cup lipstick. She combined two lipsticks, Mac Cream Cup, which is such a pretty pink. Again, that's what I have on my lips now. And then she used Mac Flesh Pot on top of that, but I couldn't find that color anymore. I think it's discontinued. I remember that color from like a long time ago, but I couldn't find it anymore. So I think it's dis discontinued. But um, the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW is like almost identical to it. So, I just pulled that one out for today. And all she did was she kind of combined those two colors and put them together on my lips. So that's what I did today. And then she topped it all off with the MAC Please Me Lip Glass, which is like a really, really pretty, um, just like pinky nude lip gloss. And I did not have to rebuy this because this is actually a color that I use all the time. I love this lip glass. So that was Please Me. 
And again, that's what I have on my lips right now. All right, so that was like wedding stuff. And then there's a couple products that I just bought because I wanted to try them and I ended up really, really loving them. So I wanna share those with you guys. These are brand new. It's the Tarte uh, Maracuja Juicy Lips. And I really like these. I really love just like, more of a glossy lip like i share it in so many of my videos i don't wear a lot of lipstick normally i'm more of just like an easy gloss girl but this is like kind of like the combination of both it's like a lipstick and gloss in one and you just kind of push it up and it's like very shiny and light on the lips and just gives like a really pretty like gloss look so this is just a really pretty nude shade this is the color rose but it's so comfortable on your lips and it just makes your lips look really just juicy and glossy. So you guys will really like these too. It kind of like, I don't know, blurs lip lines and all that stuff because it kind of plumps everything out. I really love that. And I ended up getting one of the new Tower 28s. Actually, I don't even know if they're new. They might be, I'm not sure. The Tower 28 um, Shine On Lip Jellies. And this is so nice on the lips too. It's like, a really juicy gloss as well and it's really comfortable on the lips it just makes them feel so good very shiny and glossy but not sticky or goopy this is the shade oat so it's like a good peachy nude and I love that and then the last thing that I want to share with you guys I bought one of the nude sticks the all over dewy color in poppy girl so you can use this on your lips your cheeks i personally love it on my cheeks and i always pull off the wrong end the one ends a brush to blend it i don't use the brush that comes with it but it does have that and then the other side is your cream like stick blush and i really like these i have another shade i love cream blushes as you guys know and look at this color it's one of the most prettiest colors so perfect for spring and summer it literally just makes your cheeks look beautiful and just like a beautiful wash of color i can't even describe it's just one of the best blush colors ever so that is poppy girl and i will link all this stuff down below for you guys anyway but look at that you guys oh my gosh this color is perfect Perfection. All right, so I think that's it. I think I got through everything with you guys. Like I said, there was a lot to share with you. I have a lot of new favorites that I could not wait to talk about with you. So I will list them all down in the description box. Open it up there. Links will be there. If you have any questions about anything, let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to answer any and all questions. But I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.